me the bathroom. You need people like me. Gas chamber. Look, gas chamber smell like pine oil. Hey. I can't feel my legs. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Any nigga that ever looked at me wrong. But I'm going to show you how we do it over here. Pink. Our very particular set of skills. A man has a right to change his name to whatever he wants to change it to. No, go and walk away. Go and walk away, because I'm going to burn this up and i down. King Kong ain't got this shit on me! Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's good? Thank you all for joining us here at I Am King Entertainment. I am your host, Chris Sanders. Listen, we made it. We have officially made it. 2020 has been a crazy year for all of us, man. We lost some, and if you haven't lost anybody, COVID hit, took a lot of us out, man. Um, had us sick, lost jobs, crazy stuff's been happening because of the quarantine and having people stuck in the house with each other, relationships, all that, man. It's been one heck of a year, man. But hey, we all been through some type of traumatic experience in 2020. But we here today together, all of us. We are deep, 1500 strong, man. Listen, I appreciate each and every one of you individually that subscribe to this channel, man. I wouldn't be where I'm at without y'all, and I appreciate all of you, man. Thanks for coming out. Listen, if this is your first time here at the channel, please take the time to search around the channel and see if this is a good fit for you, man. And if this is a good fit for you and you like what we do here at I Am Pink Entertainment, consider subscribing. Hey, all of you that show love watching the video of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, all of us from the cast, all of us that was behind the scenes, we all appreciate you too, man. Now that I got all that out the way, I ain't gonna hold you no longer. Roll the footage. What you looking at, Ray? Mm-hmm. What the f you looking at, Ray? You know, I noticed that, uh, you know, I know you and uh, Mr. Wiggs have been mighty, mighty, mighty friendly lately. What y'all supposed to be, a new couple or something? Kiss my ass, Ray. Mr. Wiggs is just the old man that like to talk. That's all that is, Ray. That's all that is. Oh, oh, oh. He old and like to talk. I'm a whole lot to talk to. What you want to talk about, Ray? Hmm? Just what you want to talk about, Ray? You know, I want to talk about the plan you've been working on. I ain't working on no plan, Ray. Nigga, I know you. And I know when you got something brewing. I know it. What I got brewing? What I got brewing, Ray? Can you tell me? You done lost your damn mind. I don't care what you believe. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care what you believe. I don't care what you believe. Cause I know you got something up your sleeve, nigga. You think I'ma stay up arguing with you all night? You cutting into my sleep time. Kiss my ass. Good night. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, and I and I and I hope and I hope it's the long one. Good night. I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, Ray. I'm gonna go to sleep. How about you go to sleep? Why for? I just can't sit here and look at your ass and wonder what you got up your sleeve. Yeah, I got something brewing. I got an ass open for you, Ray. If you don't stop fucking with me. Oh, is that right? Is that right? That's right. All right, sleep tight, nigga. Huff, you too. Yeah. I hope you piss the bed with that weak ass bladder. Well, if I do, if I do, I'm gonna put the sheets on you. How about that? Welcome back. Life, one of my favorites, bro. This movie had an all-star cast. Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence, Bernie Mac, Anthony Anderson, Rick James, and many more. This movie depicts being wrongfully accused in the Jim Crow South back in like 1920 or whatever. Back in the day, bro, it was way before us. But this movie is based on a true story. A lot of people ain't know that. If you haven't seen it, please pick up your copy immediately. Go to Netflix, wherever you need to go. It is a dope movie. It is hilarious, bro. I literally can quote every line bar for bar 
in this movie, bro. Two men that started out as strangers and fate brought them together to make them friends for life. It's crazy because they fought, they bickered, they, they did everything in this movie, man, to escape because they was wrongfully accused. And the, the crazy thing is a lot of that stuff is going on today. So, I mean, it is what it is. Bonus Snapple fact. When Eddie Murphy is fighting over some cornbread in the, in the yard, and he say, I know a bitch named Della that hit harder than you. That was a callback to Harlem Nights when he was in the alley fighting Della Reese and he shot Della Reese in the pinky toe. God rest his soul. What's your favorite part of this movie, man? Any part. Let me know in the comment section, bro. Talk to me down there. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe.